And um, one of the things that is helpful when you're doing like a progression of days in a row of anything is to reflect on what is working and what you've done well and also noticing um, where you've fallen off track and not being self-ridiculing or self-flagellating or hard on yourself but actually just looking at it as information that you can then redirect yourself forward with. One of the things I see with people who are say like learning to teach a class and it's a new skill, uh, they're, they're wanting to stand up in front of a group and teach a dance class, is their first class or in the very beginning, they'll find themselves not up to par with where they want to be and then these inner shadows will be so hard on them and they won't know how to regulate it if they don't give themselves a chance to be a beginner to suck what I call you know be sucking at something you know we all know what that means and yet there's another way to think about sucking you know I think of it when my children were babies and they were nursing that sucking is where you get nourishment so you've got to begin somewhere and if you give yourself the gift the nourishment of being a beginner at something and allowing yourself to enter into it fearlessly with courage um, that's how you can keep energizing forward whatever your goals are so rather than looking at like yesterday I didn't do any self-care at all in fact I abused my body you could say okay so that was yesterday and today I'm going to um, just do see, see what happens and maybe set my intention a little bit deeper or take a less bigger chunk or I'm just gonna wait and see how today is gonna be and be forgiving with myself yesterday so that's that's one of the tips today is how do we how do we learn new skills how do we learn to take care of our bodies and our minds and our lives and our relationships and our choices how do we do it and allow what's new to come forward and it's a lot of that is being soft and being compassionate with yourself and being self-forgiving and trusting that you're in the process that this is a this is a long process when you want to bring something forward it's not going to happen just like that it takes baby steps it takes patience and it takes allowing the new to form so my second tip I wanted to share with you of um, last night so I felt yesterday that I really feel, felt like I amplified my self-care I made green juice I haven't been making juice in a while I've just been sort of in a mental space of it's too much work so I made juice, that was a huge thing to get the, all the stuff and actually do the work and clean it out and it's in the, in the fridge and it felt really good to have that made. Um, the other thing that I did is in the evening I noticed that my body was hurting, that I had a lot of low back pain, my joints felt stiff, my overall mood was um, sort of neurotic feeling. So I sat down on the floor and the thought in my head was, oh, I should have scheduled a massage. I wish I could have somebody to touch, help make this pain go away. And I just sat down on the floor and I remembered being in dance the other day and doing this on a chair and just as if it were another person to allow yourself to receive and to soften and to be fully in the moment of whatever it is you're relating to, if it's the ground or a chair or a couch, and really feeling it in your body, feeling how do, you, how do you be receptive? You have to soften muscles, you have to stay with your body and feel the breath and what's changing all the time, even when it appears that you're still. There's an inner environment of things that are being pulled by gravity, that are adjusting, that are changing with each breath. So I attuned into that and what I found in my body last night was that some of these deep inner tensions, um, you know, I listened in deeply, they, they needed time and they needed to have me stay present to them. And um, th they almost felt like, um, they felt like, like this, they felt like they were shaking, like the muscles deep down inside did not want to let go. So I breathed and I watched them let go maybe 5%. And just that it did that little bit, it gave me hope of like, oh gosh, how, how did I forget that you know, we heal ourselves, that we can, uh, the, everything around us is constantly giving. So if we receive and give ourselves time and patience and go into that sense of allowing it in and being present and slowing down and being patient, allowing our body to shift into a new state of being, to feel healthier, 
we need lots of downtime and lots of rest. There's a, a posture in yoga called savasana. And it's also called corpse pose. And it's, you'll hear the yoga teacher say it's the most important pose and it's probably the most difficult one for a lot of people to be with. From a mental neurological place, it's active rest. And it's, uh, it's even different than meditation where we often close our eyes and um, clear our mind or listen to our breath. This active rest is a way to reboot your mind. So when your frontal lobes are thinking, 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 what's gonna come next? What, what am I gonna do next? I don't know what to do. When we allow that to rest and the, the body is just being the body and we're awake, we're not asleep, some people get into svasana and go right to sleep and that's a whole different state for the mind when we allow ourselves to go deep into relaxation and into being very awake with the relaxation very awake very alert there's a place in the brain that we go to that's that allows those frontal lobes to rest and it may travel into emotion or it may travel into sensing the cerebellum the brain stem where we're feeling the balance of the body or the state physically kinesthetically but you're just becoming the observer of all that's happening you're not in it so much that you're stuck spinning you're outside observing so that is my tip for self-care today to give yourself time and to give yourself that ability to be very alert but very patient and drawing back resting in. I'm going to put some um, music on and with that as a, as a theme we'll see what, what comes forward. How are you doing today on day three? Please say hi, let's connect. Um, even if you have some tips of your own to share of self-care of things that work for you, we all have these creative wonderful ideas and if we can share them and sense our connectedness that really amplifies the amplifies joy, amplifies community and connection. And that's one of the gifts of the internet is we can connect from all over the world together in this moment and be in it together. And um, I can give you a, an exercise if you'd like, if it interests you to just notice how you're holding your phone or whether it's a laptop, notice how the, you know, uh, is the energy in your hands feel like it's gripping? Can it relax a little more and be patient and resting? Can you receive? Well, you're you know, relaxing your eyes, maybe your shoulders, noticing how your posture is. And it's not judging it or saying, oh, I should go this way. It's not that. It's a deeper sense of noticing your body without judging it. Deeper sense of allowing, of softening and opening, being receptive. Here we go. Powering on. Welcome to Alltech Lansing. Somewhere in the woods, on a 
Hugs and flowers to you. <laughs> so, um, like I was saying earlier about this receiving and and sort of assessing without self judging. After I dance, I I will go into my body and say, well, let's see. You know, do I feel? A little more joy do I feel a little more connected to my body and some days it's boom like a skyrocket and some days it's like okay it's a little bit better some days it could even be a little worse but I allow it to be what it is I still measure it I allow it to be what it is and I take note and that's where that idea earlier of saying let yourself suck let yourself be nurtured and let yourself have a practice that it doesn't matter you still can keep track but it's not judging it as whether it's good or bad. I hope you have a beautiful day, everybody. Take some time to amplify your self-care. It's such a good thing. It will help you in so many ways. It will magnify the good things that give you nurturing and juice and love and connection and help usher in whatever it is that you're dreaming and you wanna bring forth that's aligned with who you are. I have a couple of fun things coming up today, in fact, at Lido Beach. We have a beach dance with the midwives. This is for the Florida Midwives Convention. So it will be with some amazing women that I'm so honored to be able to facilitate a dance for. Their theme is rededicate, rebirth, and restore. And when I hear those words, I think trust, 